Welcome back guys. So today I'll educate you about Core Web Vital Matrix, which is cumulative layout shift or you can say CLS. And if you want to learn about other Core Web Vital Matrix, I'll put a link in description. There's a small series. Each video is about a few minutes and it is a really good chance for you to learn these matrix in such a short time. And it will bring a big effect on your website and grow your business. So in this video, I'll tell you what is cumulative layout shift, how to identify CLS on your website and how to fix CLS on your website. And if you want to learn amazing content, which is hard to find in YouTube, you can like this video and subscribe to my channel. And this is how you can show your support towards me because these videos take a lot of time to make and they're free for you to learn such amazing useful content. With that said, let's see what is CLS. So CLS is your website's layout visual stability matrix, which is very important in core web vital and high impact on user satisfaction and how they interact with your website. So this was a very generic complex term. Let's see easily what is CLS. In easy terms, when something unexpected design change happens on the screen, that is CLS. For example, when you're about to click on a link or in a button, and suddenly the button or link move, and you by mistakenly click on something else. So that thing is CLS. Let's see another example. You can see when user loads the page, the text appears very fast. And within a few seconds, when the page is completely loaded, the text goes to the middle of the page. We are right. No one expected that thing. So this is CLS. I can show you the same example on my website. You can see when I load this website, my logo is on left and then after it moved to the center very quickly. So this is CLS. Let me give you one more example about what is CLS. So this is the website of one of my old YouTube subscribers since I started this channel. And you can see he's using ads on his website. And if I refresh the website, you can see there's a section here, latest model paper and very quickly the ad appear and shift this whole section to the down. So this is also CLS. I think now you understand what is CLS. Normally when you test your website page speed inside, you always see CLS. And for a lot of people, it is very complicated thing, but it is not complicated at all. Trust me, it is very easy to fix and anybody can fix this. And this is not only for Google page speed. It is also for your user experience on your website. So when people are on your website, they visit your website, they find a nice experience on your website. They don't feel confused if you take care of CLS. Okay, now, so you know what is CLS, let's see what causes CLS. So images, ads, iframes without dimension cause CLS. Dynamic content added to the page, which moves the element on the page, that also cause CLS. And web fonts changing the size of the block or the element on the page. Let's see how we measure CLS. So CLS can sound very complicated, but it is very easy. Just open your website, and look for these unexpected layout shift happening like I shown you on my website. Another easy way is the page speed inside tool. It will tell you exactly which element causing CLS. Just analyze your website with page speed insight and it will give you exact elements to work on. As per Google, it should be 0.1. It is not in seconds, but got a formula to calculate. I know it's complicated for most of you. So we just don't care about this formula. We'll just see page speed inside and what causing CLS and fix it. And guys, if you're still watching this video until this point, I'm sure you're getting some value and knowledge from this video. So don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. And guys, if you're a designer, UI expert or a student who is learning web development, this is really nice tutorial for you. And I hope you will share this video for your friends or your colleagues also. Okay, let's see how to fix CLS. So the first thing, always include size attributes on your images and video elements. You should always add height and width for videos and images on your website. Second thing, reserve enough space for elements on the screen. For example, in some case of ads, like I show you here, you can see there's ad here. So what you can do instead of inserting this ad like suddenly, you should reserve some space for this ad. So when the page loads, the space is already reserved for the new element. And then the ad will display in already reserved section inside. Never insert content about the existing content, except if users expected something. For example, you're doing some action, there's a click on something and it has to be appear some text on the top or the element on the top. Only in that case, you insert the section above the content. Prefer transfer animation to animate the properties that trigger layout changes. For example, this is my website. And if I load this image and this text, I'm using a transform property. So best thing will be to analyze your website and fix these changes manually. It will not take so much time, but if you're a really beginner, there's some plugins who can do this work and add these options for you. I'll put the links in description so how we can fix this point. And guys, I hope you learned something new today. So don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with somebody who should learn what is CLS. Thank you so much, see you in another video.